So I have to have the cake already iced because you can't just wrap uh, paper around your cake because if you do that, once you ice it, then it's not gonna be the right size anymore because you've iced it and now it takes up more room. So let me get this, move this up. And all I'm gonna do is just tape these two pieces together. All right, and then I'm going to wrap it around my cake and see how big it is. Now you gotta do this with, you know, if you've got crusted buttercream, wait till it crusts so it's not gonna stick to it. If you don't have crusted buttercream, um, if your buttercream stays, um, there, uh, stays um, soft, then you need to freeze your cake so that you can touch it without putting a dent in it. So just freeze it, put it in the freezer for a couple minutes. Okay, so I put this around. And I can see it meets right here. So I want to cut that off. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I want my stencils pretty, pretty accurate, so. And we'll just cut that off. Since this is not a Lambeth cake, it doesn't have to be perfect. Lambeth style. Okay. So okay, so now I've got a piece that goes around hopefully and meets like it's supposed to. See? That's really nice. Perfect match. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to cut at the height of my cake, which is about four inches. It's about four inches high. So I'm just going to fold it in half because it's easier for me to cut it that way. Match it up. There we go. And about four inches high is right about there. Okay, which is actually half of this paper because it's eight inches. Is it eight inches? I think it's eight. No, I guess it's a 10 by, I don't know. I don't know how big this paper is. It's eight by 11, I don't know. So we should have this about the same size as our cake. Oh, it's a little high. Did I use the wrong piece? Maybe I used the wrong piece. Yeah, I used the wrong piece. <laughs> okay, so that's the height of our cake. All right, so it goes around and it's the same height. Now what I want to do is divide this up so that I can make a scallop out of it. So I'm going to fold, I folded it in half and I want it in sixths. So I need to fold it in half, and half again, and then into third, into, what do I need to do? I need to fold it into half, and then into thirds. Because I want three pieces on each side. So half, and then into thirds. So, to fold into thirds, I'm just gonna wrap it like this, and kind of adjust it until they're equal. Okay. If you want, you can measure it out. I mean, you can just measure out this piece, measure the piece and divide it by three and just measure it. You could do it that way too. So, you know, this is 12, it's like 12 and a, almost 13 inches. So divide that by three and it's like a little over four inches. It's like four and a quarter each one. So each section is four and a quarter inches. So you see the fold? A little around four and a quarter. And again, around four and a quarter. So that's another way. You just fold it like that. Okay?